Come on. My chin shrink. Yeah, like it went down. trying to figure out which Edu guy I was going to use for this. Uh, I think I might stick with the one I used for uh, High Treasons maps, but so I don't remember if Toilet Duck uses older Edukes. Just trying to see if I can counter the issue we had with his last map. And I was using the new Eduke, or at least uh, the newest one I have installed. So maybe I go back in time, which is the reason why. I'm uh, contemplating elevators here. This is unrelated. Well, I shouldn't say it's unrelated to the our, our little mapping thing. I'm just kind of doing an audio test and reading the uh, Eduke wiki here. Trying to give myself a refresher for something. I guess I can uh, key you all in while I do these tests anyways. Fun and easy. I, I know that it can't be complicated. It's got to be just like you throw a sector effector on there. I think, like, do you have to... Aren't you supposed to, like, start at the height you want to be or something? I never bothered to make one. Um, so I'm going to probably not do that, though. Uh, unless you want a sprite one. I'm not doing uh, a sprite one yet. So I'm going to I'm going to open up my my handy, uh, my handy software here. Give me a second here. No, I'm not gonna do it that way, actually. Um, let's flip this over. Let's add window capture. Um, yeah, 
Yeah, like I definitely feel like I'm gonna have an elevator in a mall. Makes sense, right? So, uh, but the one we, I was thinking about that was sprite based. That one I was thinking about not doing just because I I feel like that might be too complicated right now. Right? Like, why start big? Um, I still might have that visual, um, which if we. Uh, Space textures, what? I don't even know how I got to this place. Um, but there was a thing I was thinking about. Maybe I'll just open it up. Let's 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 open up the version we were doing before so I can explain a little bit, actually. Just assuming people trickle in here. Let's do... Uh, so, like, this is this is the elevator that I was talking about that was sprite-based on our little mood board that we made here. And, uh... This guy's in here. Is this one? Because I, I like the idea that you can see through it, but... Because it's complicated, I was thinking about maybe having it just explode. So you go to use it, and it explodes, which is forces Duke to go, have to go to another floor. Because he has to get to something on the top floor. Maybe he's trying to get to the alien ship. Maybe that's what I want to do. Like, we'd have the, um... Yeah, that's why I wasn't gonna... I, I, like, I would use that more as a set piece. Um while using regular elevators for, for other things inside the mall. I thought I had one that was grid. Um, so let me do it this way. Probably should have cleaned my screen first. And see through windows, but like, I don't know if I like. I kind of want to see um, underneath. Like, if you see in that photo, you can. S it's it's just like a piston almost pushing the uh, pushing the elevator up. So I like that visual, is all. Uh, but you're right. We could just do a regular elevator, a la Duke Caribbean. Duke Caribbean has one that's like that. I feel, if I remember correctly. Uh, but yeah, what I was thinking of here is uh, just because I can draw something really easy and paint before I do like actual editing. Uh, let's do black lines here. And like we have the the water fountain. So I was thinking like two things for for the uh, the lift. Yeah, so we could always change it, but like something, I have something. Is we have the like the let me increase those things. Uh, the water fountain, and I thought about there being a point where maybe we have like a drone come out of it, because you have those drones in those like little hatched states. This is my uh, fancy drawing. 
when they're like this. They're... <coughs> I don't know how to draw a drone actually, I just realized that. And they're like all like, ooh, I'm, I'm floating around and here's my little feet. They're crunched up in a little ball, like this. And they're little catatonic states. And then, don't they have like, they have weird eyes. This looks nothing like a drone. And they have weird like teeth or something. I don't remember. Yeah, you know, like they're kind of like bug-like and all that. Uh, I don't know why this. I could just pull up a picture of them and draw them, or if just put a sprite down and that would work. But anyways, like that, and so he would rise up. You know. Um, that was my thought <laughs> process uh, as he would rise up from from our our water fountain thing at some point and so I would need an elevator I would figure to push him out but then I was thinking because you come up you resurface from this water in the actual editor um, it, it, w coming into this with no context probably doesn't help so uh, welcome everybody to the Saturday stream I'll, I'll get you guys into the introduction mode because then then you guys can have context if you're new here um is i'm devin i uh, stream duke Nukem every saturday so far i put well, we kind of split it up into a little bit of a, a twofer um where we start now at least we start mapping for about an hour or so which is what we're going to be doing today using mapster 32 which is the uh, level editor for duke nukem 3d um let me open up here in the editor that's like app actual map and uh, i'm kind of going on a little journey myself to yeah let's do winterfall winterfall's fun um little journey myself to kind of learn how to make my own duke duke maps so i thought it'd be a fun little experience to uh share that journey with you guys and then now we're kind of participating in it by building our own little 90s mall location uh, every Saturday for about an hour a day we uh, will go into it now and map and then go into a let's play of some user maps made by the community so today's is going to be Twilight Ducks Shifting Sandland which is a Super Mario 64 inspired level a lot of true room over room is being used uh, which is a technique that in Mapster 32 because it's a 2.5d engine so it's not true 3d uh, everything is done like if you're drawing it on a sheet of paper. It's all flat like this. So this is a giant piece of grid paper. And uh, the problem is you can't actually do things on top of each other like through 3D. So you, you kind of have to stack things or layer them in a way uh, is an easy way to uh, think about it. Which is one of the things that feel, uh, kind of appeals to me is that weird uh, nostalgia partially because I did grow up with it, but also the... Uh, idea of having that restriction of not being able to do whatever you want to a certain degree but if you wanted to really really try you could probably break things enough to do it it's, it's just a fun challenge um, so I just I like to see what people are doing with it so that's what we've been doing by exploring everybody's uh, maps here and uh, Twilight Duck does use true room of a room a lot which is a, a fun technique and sector over sector I believe does some sector splicing stuff that I haven't uh, really gotten into. So this is Winterfall, a map that we actually played on the channel as well. So that was used, everything is made using uh, this stuff that we're playing with today. So you can also make stuff of your own if you've never tried, uh, which is always so fun. So we're making a 90s mall. I'm gonna load up the, uh... what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load up the last rendition of the map we did for it just to uh, give context and then explain my visual I'm trying to go in my fancy paint drawing I did. Yeah. Do I want this one? Just loading up the game here. Let's 
to rock. Where are you, Scooby-Doo? Uh, so yeah, this is the map that we made. What renderer am I using here? Um, DN Crows. So this is what we've made over the past couple weeks. Uh, this is going to be a mall. It doesn't really matter what it looks like on the outside because we haven't really figured out what the inside's kind of going to look like. So I'll build the outside based on the inside. Um, cause that's where we're gonna spend be spending most of the time, and um, I'll explain my kind of thought process of ideas of what I was thinking about for the mall. Uh, one, why is Duke here? He's chasing a UFO uh, that he uh, either was already in. Cause there's another idea I have that I would like to do, but I don't know if I could fit it into this map where Duke gets picked up by a UFO. I've mentioned it in passing, and I, I mentioned it I think while playing a blast radius map. Maybe. Pretty sure it's a blast radius map. I think. Um, and then I mentioned it again in High Trees and said it's possible because he went and tested it. I think High Trees had tested it. Uh, where, like, I'd have the UFO pick Duke Nukem up, like, tractor beam style. Uh, but it wouldn't be in the city, it would be somewhere in the country. And uh, I was thinking, like, obviously your typical cornfield, but I don't know how I'd make a cornfield with the stock assets off the top of my head. Uh, I guess it could be like a wheat field. Maybe do that. Anyways, besides the point. Uh, he would get abducted. And you would fight a little bit in the alien ship. Not a lot, but it caused damage where they spit him out. And then they are crashing-ish towards the city because they're like, oh my god, this was not part of the plan and they would end up at this mall they scavenged for parts to fix the ship and duke would follow them to the mall to finish what he started uh and that's how he's here and so that would bring into the concept of the elevator where we would go into uh we want to get to the top floor because the ufo would be on top um I think there's corn and shop and bag textures. Is there? Maybe I'll look. Uh, so, anyways, but we go. We'd have to get in the mall. It's locked, so we can't go in the front door, and so we have to go down here into it, and we'll flesh this stuff out. This we're just roughing some ideas out, and we come out into. Uh, the water fountain. So this is where I was mentioning in uh, my fancy drawing that I did here. Uh, this one. Where the, where the alien would come out of the waterfall right there. So he would come out the waterfall sometime later. But because of that... Let me kill this man. Um, but because of that, I don't know if I could do that in the same sector, which is going to be a, a little weird to explain if you don't know what a sector is. Um, if it's inside the mall, the area connecting the stores can be simpler because you only need to model the ceiling and no, not the model, the building roofs don't. Yes, exactly. That's kind of why I'm, the only thing I'm going to know is D and clip here. So we'll just wait over here. Is this is going to be the back of the mall? So I figure you're going to see the back of the mall here, and then the front of the mall might be more elaborate. I don't know why I want this to be the back of the mall, other than I don't want to put a lot of work in the back. Um, and then the the front of the mall, like maybe we would see the UFO through this, right? So what what we did last week is we built these guys up uh, just as a test. So if I jetpack this up, you'll kind of see that 
breaks the illusion a little bit. But this is really just a, like, a little miniature set. Um, just, I kind of wanted to see how it would look, how it would work. We do have some flaws here because these aren't connected. So you'll see that they kind of get cut off out of view. Um, I could fix that by joining the sectors, I'd imagine. Um, or I could cut off the way Duke could uh, approach certain angles. So you just wouldn't run into that, right? Um, but conceptually, it's good to know this works, right? And even this, to... Uh, get this working. We are using true room over room to be on with this. So we have a flat sector. It'll make so sense when I pull it up in the editor. Uh, but anyways, yeah, that was what I was thinking about for the, for the elevator part and why I wanted to know it. Um, oh, and the reason I was thinking this was the back of the mall because I wanted to that big elevator I was talking about for the mood board here. Um, this guy. I thought that would be more in the front part. Um, what else do we got here that I, I kind of want to pull from? Because we wouldn't go in every... It's not like you would go in every single like store. So a lot of these would still be closed oh. off, uh, just blocked out. Be, maybe some, some destruction, especially if the aliens are trying to get parts and stuff inside. So we could close off like wings of them all that way uh, to make a not quite linear there's going to be a few little paths we could kind of explore to go into um, to get into the mall trying to I think the idea would be Duke is trying to excuse me uh, get to the roof of the mall to try to get on to the spaceship because it's higher um, but that can be a separate area like we can just cut we can teleport Duke to a, a separate playing field for that. So I'm not too worried. I really do want to figure out how I would do something like this. Not exactly Nickelodeon, but like something stupidly cartoony. I guess we could really base it off Babeland. Because like that's already established uh, in canon that that exists. Because Disney has a store too, so like... You could do it, right? Um, Kadzooks. Come on. So this is kind of what this is. The, uh... What we got going on over... Here. Just as a point of reference that is kind of what uh, this is this was the inspiration for um, so yeah I'm thinking this would be a, uh, a food court here just a small little food court and it would tie into the rest so maybe that's what we'll do today is kind of block out some sections of the mall instead of some some hyper details just to figure out the route Duke will take um route 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 yeah let's do that let me get out of here I could do that in the front, for sure. I know for the way in, I, I don't want a lot of distractions because I want players to focus on going to the mall. Uh, but yeah, the ending, especially if Duke has to fail or like the ship gets functional, get across height difference wise. Because I, I was also thinking the mall would also have uh, some apartments on top. Um, I'm just switching boards here. I haven't forgotten why you, you're not seeing anything. Let me just close this. I don't need that. 
that open right now. That's why it's not even open. I could just accidentally close my mapster. Save a board here. Let me get my little keyboard guy on here. So you guys can, can see what I'm doing if you want to. And let me get a little timer on here as well. It, it, it doesn't help if I close it, though. Yeah, I should probably not close my little timer. Or else it, just, it stops working. Get it open again, sorry. Alright, so here, here we go. Here's our little mall. So we've got our little water section here. And what I was saying about the elevator is we'd have to like cut this part out right here. Um, in order to uh, get away with the, maybe raising that drone out of it, I think. Um, so this is what it looks like, by the way. This is the little miniature side by side. So this is what I mean. You got to think about it like sheets of paper. Each of these layers is a different sheet of paper. And it just uses some math to mimic height. It's like how, how Doom works. Okay. I got to remember I got to switch controls here. A second here. Put my shade on. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Um, now this is the only downside of doing this part first is I... have to see it all the time well i won't for a little bit i can i can highlight this whole section here i guess i could do this and then if i'm correct i could go control a control r Okay, maybe I'm doing it wrong. Uh, there's like a... I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not. It's just a... It's a part of this add-on I have. Maybe it only... Does this. Okay, anyways. That's, that, that, that's besides the point. What we want Duke to be here. So we're going to go through here. We got through here. Have some little items happening in the stores. I don't know how much of the main stuff I'd want to have happen. So we would see the UFO in the distance there. Um, so like our little cutoff, which... What was the clipping? Was it N? Yeah, clipping disabled. And then I can... Fly up here. Uh, and then I could do What I do this? Hmm. 
this is probably a bad idea to do now still, but I just kind of want to see if the the visual would work the way I want. So for what I'll do is Trying to, I'm trying to make a little garbage UFO. <laughs> Let's undo it. Make it a little play around with this concept of a, a little tiny UFO. Parallax this guy. Oh. Ooh. And raise him. So I'm just trying to build a um, kind of a garbage UFO here. I do need to fix this though. You mean I didn't move any floors? I got clipping on. Uh, I keep put turning my gravity on to drop down, and then I forget that I have clipping on. No, they w like they wouldn't. I'm just trying to. What I wanted to see is, I don't have to do it now. To be honest, it's it's too soon to do it now. To be because I don't even know what the downside's gonna look like. Is so I'm gonna actually load. I'm gonna get rid of it all. I just wanted to see if I like the visual of having a UFO floating in the sky right there, but I. I guess I could just do that in a screenshot. Like, if I took a screenshot of this, I can always just draw a UFO in my off time to see how I'd like it. I don't need to build it in the editor right now. Because I already know how I how I would technically do it. I just know it's going to take a lot longer, and I'm going to have to undo it all if I'm doing all the... Uh, this stuff. So let's just figure out how we want this to flow. So you would get up here and you would have a food court, I'm thinking here. So we'd have a food court. Let's crank up the... And that's kind of why I'm upset I built this. I guess I could move it. And just hopefully reattach it later i could also just rebuild it better stronger i thought there was a way to make my character go to a different layer 
thought that's what I was doing here. Okay, here. And then I would also like to, there's an add button, right? Add. No, nope, that's not what I want to do. I'm just thinking this is going to be a problem for us now. Just now that we built it, because it's just going to get in the way of building stuff down here. But I don't remember how to add selections. How do I add selections here? Let me just quickly edo this. Add edo. Like Yeah, you know what? We're going to go big. We're going to go bold here. What are you doing there? I can always copy from the other... Uh, map. But I'm just thinking so then that way we can kind of just float stuff around here. Can I get really bold and move this whole thing, do you think? Oh, okay. So let's get this out of the way for now then. Hopefully he'll be okay over there. I just bring that back and it's unbroken? Nice. Nice. Okay. Let's focus on building everything else. So let's get rid of you. Go over there. For now. Um... Get rid of this, like bring out the wall here. I think that's that would make sense. So like this would be We're gonna play with some shapes, I think. Uh drop that down there. Do a little sketching, I guess you could say. See where the, the form of the mall is. Because I'm thinking we could have little bars here. Two, three, four. Bring down this. Really trying to get the general aesthetic of this mall going, and then maybe that'll help us with the design as well. I guess I could highlight both of these. So let's not do that right now. I don't know. <laughs> I kinda I'm kinda basing on how much space we have. Not like in the map in total, just uh, what we want to fit. Because like, 
for example, I'm thinking like you'd have one wing of the mall, like you know how it's 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 branching out. There's a hall here, there's a wall here. You wouldn't go down one whole hall. It would just be blocked off. Something happened there. Uh, and even though there's multiple floors, like multiple floors, you wouldn't be accessible. So it's like the invitation that it's big, but it's not. You're not going to go into most of it. Um, but since this is the beginning area, I think I just want to like a little little opening battle in the cafeteria here. Not the cafeteria. Uh, this place. But I just don't know the size I'm I'm, I'm aiming for here because we get up. Uh, top here, you go around. Right, so you'd have this go. I'm just separating these things here a little bit so I can kind of mold it differently, I think. So let's bring this back. Let's delete this guy. Uh, for now, we're going to swap out. We're going to put the my default walls here. So it doesn't mess with everything else. Uh, I want to bring these in. So the idea is you'd have your little food court. Did we have a food court picture in our mood board? Like there's this. We got some pillars that we might want. I do like this neon, actually. That'd be kind of cool if we could somehow figure out how to do something like that. We could, probably could with the those pipes. Marble floors. So we could probably do um really wanted to do this. Let's just play around with a texture idea here. I was about to say I could use the same ones that are in the windows that we used. Which were what? This? Mm. That would kind of work in here. And then we would do Got rid of its neon art light art files. It had neon light art files. Was that from Lame Duke? Um, man, that is a shame. Like I can make it work. It's it's just not as obviously the same. Uh, I'm just thinking the one from is it Bank Heist? There was a marble texture here. Right? That's what I'm thinking about doing is we just have to break. If we want to do a little bit of neon. Uh, I don't know if I'd want to get too wall heavy or sector heavy with this yet. Pretty sure it's in the Duke 3D. Yeah, this one. And then we would do something like this. Yeah, the, with, the, keep in mind, there's like a lot of stuff I would probably change here. Um, but we could probably get that effect. Yellow and Eden. Oh, see, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that's that makes sense. They should definitely have done kept that stuff going on. Um, yeah, so we'll do that, and then you got your food court, right? So we got separate them by little pillars. So we're gonna crank up this. We're gonna add up a, a wall here. 
I think right now we're going to do spikes. Actually, no. Let's figure out a real... Yeah, just like that. Just for a pillar for now. We want a temporary one. I want to bring it out a little bit, maybe. Maybe it's... I want this to be longer. Why am I thinking in this weird... What is bothering me about this? It's two over, two over. I don't know what was bothering me about that. It still is. Anyways, we'll delete that. I think it's just the angle these things are coming off. Let me actually straighten this stuff up. Why did I hear a cat somewhere they're not supposed to be? Hello, hello. Tokisaki Kuru Kurumi. I apologize if I mispronounced that. I mispronounce most things in my life. If it ever looks like I'm meandering, it's probably because I am. I'm I'm contemplating in my skull what I want to do, and I'm just I'm just having a a weird form of thought process. I think I want to do. So if anyone's ever curious, well, I'll probably never finish anything. It's because I meander about little details. That'll I'll end up changing all this. Like this will all end up changing. Uh, I just want like a little column. That's all I'm trying to do. But for some reason, I don't. I'm not confident. I don't want to put too much detail into it. So I'm going to take a lot of time not putting detail into it, which seems a little counterproductive. get the feel for it. I spent countless times sat and left mouse button pressed rolling the wheel to see random Yeah, I'm that's that's where I get the worst. I think I'm okay like a lot better when I'm just doodling like this. Um cuz especially once I once the idea clicks, I'm good. The textures it's like ooh. Oof, I'll get lost in those. I'll get lost in those bad boys. Okay, let's center this. So we're going to do... I think we'd have a store right here. Not a store, sorry. I'm doing a, a food court kind of idea. So I'm just going to put a little indent where a food court would be. Because I do want this to still be a little, a little battlefield of some kind. Um, I'm thinking maybe you could come back to the food court for health purposes. Like you want to restock on some health, you could do this. If we do like a, a mission kind of structure, I'm thinking where you have to go to different parts because the aliens are going to different parts. It's more important than looks uh, comes to first at least. Yeah. Like as much as I like things to look nice, I, I do want it to feel appropriate to walk through as well. That is one of the issues I feel where, you, like, as much as I like details, if you get too detailed, sometimes you, you kind of obstruct movement. 
but I still want it to pull off like I, I like these little columns in between the um, what do you call them? fast food places they're kind of sticking out so the pillars are indented a little bit which I guess is, is kind of what I should do here pillars you'd have a uh, 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 uh. and this would be closed off so maybe that's the problem is I, I should probably do this you'd have uh, this would be kind of like that so you'd have a, a block we could put a mask there for now I guess um, no I don't want that there. I was like oh, let's put a temporary mask there it's probably gonna be actually easy to just do this um, still not happy with this These ones I did. Anyways, that that that's kind of the point, right? Because this would be all blocked off. Just so I, I, the player wouldn't be able to walk through there. So you have this wall, and I want well, maybe you'd have a store, a little kiosk here. This would go indented a bit. Have more chairs there. Okay, 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 I get it. I'll fix all those details later. But we have, uh, oh, I guess you should see the, uh, you should see what I'm doing. That would probably be useful for you guys. Um... Flush out this guy. 31 minutes. Okay. Speed this bad boy up. So you have this, and then this would be indented because you are a store, uh, like a kiosk. I'm pulling inspiration in my in my mind from um Bob Masters? Yeah, this is his future map. It's 
Let's do this. Gonna add a point here. We're gonna add a point here. We're gonna stretch this guy out. Create this into a separate sector. Are these the? Is that the very biggest grid I can get? The sides out off loop here. Mall themed maps lately. I don't. I don't think I have actually. I, well, like, well, it, the closest I can think of is just that little tiny portion, which was just a food court in the Bob Masters one. Um. Otherwise, no. I'm starting to think no. I don't. I don't think I have. At least not recently. Yeah, like, I, I've definitely gone into stores. We've definitely gone into stores. But not, uh, not, uh, any malls, I don't think. I'm gonna put this back to the default texture. For this experiment. Uh, we're gonna raise these guys up because we're gonna th we're gonna pretend these are little ledges. One, two, three, four. Right. So I don't. That's too high. One. That's still too high. Two. I'll say just right for now, but these aren't. One, two. One, two. One, two. Two, two. Okay, and then what we would do is not that, uh, but we'll put two points in here. Then we can play around with how many we want to go in. But most of these I'm thinking will just be like little facades. Like you're going to have a Duke Burger. AGD06 I think had them all. AGD06. Which one is that? One, two, three... Alright, so there's your little your little counter. It's a little wide, maybe. And I'd ha you'd have a walking path to get in if you're an employee. Maybe not. Like the one on our mood board didn't, right? Any other, just like I like, because we can do a blend too. We can do stuff like this, like this. Definitely need to do a little bit of a blend so it's not just cookie like copy paste. I was gonna say cookie cutter instead, but both work, I guess. I do want some greenery in there. Maybe I'll do some more bushes. Uh, but for sure we're looking at. Definitely like this concept of neon. So let's add some some AGD do do do. What series is that? I feel like I've heard that name though. At least from a series perspective. I'm just gonna add some columns in here. I'm gonna just, I just want to play around with what this looks like. Um color wise, let's just go, let's figure out a white. Keeps defaulting to this uh, 
texture. I'm gonna do this for now. It's still not, it's not the, this is a little too, too rough. I feel like I want something smoother. As Nightmare City you played ago with the boat in the scenery. Oh, yes, yes, that one. That was a, oh, that was a good while ago. Um, let's do that. Cause so you, because what I was thinking for those neon, by the way, for is what was the, not this one. There's one with two, like it's two tubes. Or am I thinking this? Like, this is what I was thinking of. And I could do the one that's not moving. So I could do like something like that. And then you would just change the palette on it. What kind of... I don't know if I'd get a pink though. I don't know if I could make a pink work. But you could put that along there and I could maybe work. I don't know if it'll look nice enough, but we'll see. Like that's in the detail stuff, but that's what I'm thinking is we would do a line of that um, across there to mimic neon if we wanted to put that little neon in there. I like these little flourishes. Those would be pretty easy to add. I would just use some sprites, I think. ADG's its own series. First level is from 20, 2001. Are those the ones that aren't really... Or am I thinking of the gate? No, it doesn't. Like, right? So I'd have to compromise. Maybe use blue or something. Which is fine. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. Just, uh... Yeah. I do want these to be actual columns, though, so. I'm not comfortable with the circle tool, tool in uh, eDuke. I haven't quite mastered it. So now we got our little columns of some kind. They're a little too thick. Uh... But keep in mind, when we bring this bad boy back, I kind of, I kind of got to shrink this now. Wait, wait. Which point is locked into a point? Which? Thanks. One, 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 A little too, a little too big. So I gotta get. I think we gotta shrink this this guy. Actually, I think I gotta do both of these. Let's come back to this one. Purple lava stretched. Oh, that's a good idea, actually. Oh no, it broke it. Didn't work as well as I planned. I was hoping I could just move it back and it would be fine. Dang. Psst. 
because I don't think I can easily fix that. Can I? Can I join you? When did you go white? Oh, maybe they were always white. Okay, well, oh well. Oh well, oh well. This always reminded me of Snakes, this soundtrack. Or this, uh... This one. So you just gotta remember there might be a the skylight here. I guess we could just do do a garbage one. Hey. Oh no. Something's wrong. It's gotta be. A, there's probably a quicker way to do this too. I was hoping I could just move it back, and we'd be a okay. But you'd have a. Just gotta remember, we'd have like a skylight here of some kind. Worry about that later. Maybe we'll add uh, another control There's a quick way to reattach the skylight. How do I how do I do that? Feel free to tell me. As I keep working on my little my little design here. I think it's they have an overlap. That's what it is. It's like there's this weird um let me enlarge this even more. Uh, they have this weird. Where to go now? Not that one. This one. Let's stick out a bit. What if you drew a new mall interior on the skylight sector work? Then correct that to the existing sector work. <laughs> Is that what CK3D was going to say? Is that what he was going to say? Like just copy this. I like how this looks like a little robot face, though. This is fun. Uh, I want to do another one of these. Oh, you can't see my little robot face. It's my little robot face. Right alt select the skylight texture. Insert to move. Copy then over. Right alt select. Right alt select the skylight texture. Uh, insert to move. Insert to move. Oh, we'd have to make the shrunk. We have to make the tiny version first. Okay, we gotta make the tiny version. So here, let's do this. Uh, first, we need these to line up, just so I don't mess with grid sizes. One, and then line up. Two. Uh, I still need this to be. I still need this to be one smaller. I think it's a little too small. Thank you. 
I'll do my best. Here's what we'll do. We'll save a new board. We'll do 5-2, just in case we break something. I think the problem is this isn't center anymore. That's bothering me. Oh, it's because this whole thing doesn't match up anymore, so it's just no nothing's matching. There we go. We've got to just remember to move uh, the same point for each. Why am I overcomplicating this for myself? just looks wrong here. I think it's just something looks wrong and my brain's just not thinking properly with it. Like this is longer for sure. If I just move this guy, maybe maybe I'll be okay if it's yeah, that's it. I just gotta move this guy. Uh, how silly that was. Uh, okay, so you're saying right alt, save first, sprite inserted. We inserted a sprite somewhere. Oh, it's in here. Thank, thank God, it's just in here. Let me deselect these. Let me save. Uh, and then your right select, insert, and then I can put him back right here, let's say. Uh, and when the editor asks, yes. And in theory, we kind of have a thing. Okay. It's a little busted. But for the visual, I think it worked. I think it's because we don't have the chore layer anymore, to be honest. I don't, I don't think that's... Yeah, we don't we don't have a chore layer, so that's gone. Um, because I think we didn't select that. Yeah, that's what happened. So I got. Yeah, it lost the chore. I gotta I gotta select the chore, but I need it. I need to re. Right. How do I select it? Because it wants to... Um... It doesn't want to select that part. might be better off letting it lose the chore and then re re-extending it. That's what I was thinking. Um, is... It's because I have that grayed out. 
I just need to ungrade that up. I just wanted to see it as like a visual because I, I agree with you. I'll probably want to actually just rebuild this entire thing instead. Um, to be honest, it's already kind of broken in here actually now that I shifted it. So you know what? Screw it. Let's let's just leave it as is. Um, We can build just a um, a quick ghetto one if we want a visual, I guess, without Shroar. Oh no, it's gonna. Just if we wanted the visual of one, we could go. Actually, you know what? We would just first wall this. I don't even have to do this. I'm overcomplicating it for a temporary one. I would just do this, actually. And then I would do that. Parallax of Sky. And then for just uh two three can i mask this can i like just mask it across that'd be cool um and we'll change that to this guy that we wanted and then I could just throw, like, I would like that to be to be masked. That's why the Troar stuff is better. Or at least that. Because then you could just Troar it up and then instead of having a thousand of these as sprites... I guess I'll use these temporarily again. We'll reset that though. And we'll make it even flatter. And then we'll make these big. Do 128 by 128. And then we'll copy this guy. Or maybe we don't. Maybe we want it even bigger. What am I doing? These are temporary.
it a little bit bigger. One sixty two. Okay, I'll just paste that, paste that, paste that. Make you guys a line. There we go. Beautiful. Now, if I did this right, we could select all these guys, and then can we page them all up at once? No. Dang it. I could. Sprite's only. Yeah. Let's have a moment here. I'm trying to get my deselection tool to, to deselect. There we go. Okay, so I want to go down one. No. I go down two. Down two. Nine nine three two eight nine nine three two eight nine nine three two eight nine three two eight. And there, there's your temporary skylight. So at least for a visual, you can see what I'm talking about. And yeah, we threw another pillar in there, maybe. Throw another pillar in. I guess there's one at the side. Like it doesn't have to be one to one. Because I don't want to cloudy up. Uh, the viewpoint, but we could drag the pillars in a little bit, maybe. So these guys are one away. Let's try that. Very weird when I go back to back and forth. Oh, you guys can't see anything. Got. I don't know why I keep missing that when I'm looking over at chat. I'm so sorry. Yeah, that's kind of working out. And then the ceiling itself would be like tiled. Oh, we could do rotate it just to throw it for a loop. Right, so it'd be like this, but rotated. Can we do that? Would we do it by making this a first wall? Was that how we would do that? So can I do, yeah, then I could do something like that. So that we could angle it. I, I still would like something more square for my texture choice here. Because it's blending in with those pillars. Still throw some speakers in there. And then when you break it up with those neon lights that we're thinking of, but you said stretched out purple lava. And again, we'll, we'll make this a true chore one, but because uh, then we can add more details and stuff to it the way I want. But as like a, a temporary skylight for now, just so we can get an idea of it. Because then you would see the little spaceship off there in the corner. I think I'm thinking through there. Uh, yeah, so those are two... 
maybe it's this let's let's go back to to gray for now I'm not gonna worry about that detail we didn't get as much done today like I, I I really ended up toying around with a lot of nowhere ideas I think I'd want a pillar here though It's telling you it's temporary. Um, because yeah, this would be there. We would have I kind of want like a more octagon -ish shape. So like this would be here. Like I'm still thinking. Crank up that grid. I know we're almost at time-ish, even though we make up the rules. Because then if we did make these... Uh, into columns of a sort... It would kind of look like this. Then I could angle the the stores a little differently, you know? Maybe that's something I'll sketch out. Maybe I'll have a few ideas uh, for next stream. I keep saying that, like I'll have more ideas. And I sometimes I do. <laughs> but like in they're usually just thoughts and not plans on layouts but I, I think like because I, I i want this to be a little bit bigger for a battle let's load it up in game i just maybe i'll get a feel for it in there uh then we'll switch over we'll do a brief tiny little break so i can grab a snack and then we'll get to the actual level itself the user map of today <laughs> but yeah, that's actually a good thing. So you said a you said ADG. Write that down. I already kind of have an idea for next stream already, because I know Star Nukem released a new map, so I feel that would be a good one to go with. Hello, welcome, welcome. Let's rock. Alright, let's de encrose this just so I can do it. So jump down here, go for a little swim. Oh, 
Hop out here. This guy's hanging out. Boom. Kill. Dark pillar. I think this, like, a darker pillar might work better once we get the... Especially if we go with something like this at an angle. Um, playing field for running. Yeah, I think this might actually be fine size for a little battlefield. If we... Uh, We block this out because we could have the you know how they have like a uh, drop down whatchamacallits shutters like we could have those open up and monsters come out because uh, like especially if we think about the food court as a way where you could always go back to to try to get some health or something um you could always have it so that enemies would respawn we could have something come in then you have your tables and chairs. It's like a weird little motion going on here. I wonder if that's just because of this. There's like a Fulbright thing happening. Some shading issues. Um, but yeah. We'll go through. And like you might be only the front section of the food court restaurants that you can get into. And maybe one you can go into the back. You know. See how it works get a feel but you wouldn't have to go through every single one um mainly this is just a health pickup place and then you would go through the wings of the mall that way yeah and then that way we can close off a wing to restrict the players so that you'd have to go off into one section um with the idea of trying to get to that spaceship that you don't see right now, but trust me, that spaceship's going to be there. It's going to be flying in that sky. Um, and that way we could actually, if we wanted to, because we are technically playing with changing areas, we could have the spaceship flying through here in the start as well. Um, it, I, I haven't actually changed changed it. It's, it's a temporary skylight while we built out this area. So I, I, I just moved the skylight that we actually built. Um, so I could start to flesh out the actual mall area. And it was a little... I, I couldn't remember how to disable layering, so I couldn't see the top layers. Uh, so it was getting hard to... I, I was predicting it was going to be hard to just start to construct around the drawer layer. So I decided I'll add that later. I know it works. And that was what I wanted to do with it. So now it's just figuring out what I want to do in the bottom. And then I can always just re-add the drawer layer. Is my thought process. So this guy's just a, a temporary little garbage one. Just so I can aesthetically know for blocking purposes. Oh, ID and clip-on. Oh, jeez, I forgot. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so that, that was my thought. Granted, there is an easy way to re-add this, by the way. I'm, I'm fairly certain, like, CK3D mentioned it too, but I'm pretty sure Brawlove covered this in one of his tutorials when he mentioned the shading thing that he added, uh, where he can pick up and move a, a layer completely and then re-add it back on pretty easily uh, using that. So it's just my fault for not remembering how to do that. And so I just decided to... Unless I'm misremembering, it doesn't work like that at all. But it's, I just decided to throw this temporary guy in. Um, yes, yeah, so they'll have your tables and chairs here. Mall, mall. I wonder what kind of tech... What, what, Like, how could we really diversify stores? Like, this one, I'm thinking, obviously, comic book store or something like that nature. Maybe, like, a showcase kind of records, if you guys know what those are. It's, like, an HMV or like movie record store still kind of exists now uh i definitely want to do uh the babeland style thing with this so instead of doing like a nickelodeon have like a kid's store based on babeland because i think that would just be fun to do weird little texture things to try to make characters that would be fun um 
do a little gag in there of some kind. Got to just got to get a nice little hear me out. T 90s TV electronic store. Oh yeah, I would definitely do that. Like why do you think we have this picture of a Radio Shack here? Definitely have to do a TV radio store, especially with like big CRT TVs. And then we could make a, a gag about the future of TVs. And it would just be a bigger CRT TV. Yeah. <laughs> they, trust me, we got we got it covered from all locations. So uh I think I like the idea of this winter stuff, but I don't want to set this in the winter now. I like this big arch for McDonald's, but I don't want to do actual corporate ties, just things we mimic. We had a Disney store in ours. He did it. Yeah, there's a Disney store. Well, actually, there was a few uh, kind of relatively within like an hour of me. And I just thought it was neat how hard they went in the theming of it. Like kind of like this. I think I would have loved a Nickelodeon store, to be honest. But that was more my jam than Disney. Um, I definitely still like that. Hey, look, these lights. These are definitely very... Very reminiscent of lighting that we see. Oh, we could definitely do this. Come on. Hanging lights like that. Because we've seen that done. Uh, Ludwig. Uh, everyone does it. Uh, Ledsbore does it. A few times. Oh, the last one we saw that. Of it. I think it was also done in last piss time. It's common. Anyways. But I like it how it looks. Just little sprite lights do this for sure i'm pretty sure there's a texture that has the lighting already built in and baked it like this so we could definitely do that for an arcade i, I do want an arcade as well but an arcade would work better in a movie theater which i feel like we should add a movie theater like that's a requirement and i definitely want to do a something bigger for that i still think i want to do this kind of elevator but not workable because just as we mentioned i'm not capable of sprite elevators right now but instead it would be it would just blow up so you'd go up to interact with it and it would just go boom 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 and so forcing duke to go up to the other floors a different way oh yeah i yeah one of those things is definitely going to be a duke burger well how would i do uh I think a giant D for Duke what Burger. For Christmas? Anyways, we got a lot to pull from. And this is just from first batch of the move board. I definitely want some greenery in it there too. Which we started adding with this. Escalators are cool. I do like the idea if we do the uh, like the like a long hallway for a store. Uh not a store, sorry, uh like the walkway that you have the come on. Um uh, moving platforms because it's you know the future like how they have in airports uh, but yeah that's that's it so not a ton of ton of real big work we just made a robot face in mapster really that's what we did today for a mapping stream what are you waiting for christmas I think if I think of the lore more for this, it'll work better. So um, what's going to happen here is I'm going to gonna use the bathroom. I'm going to be back in like 10 minutes or so. So if you guys want to catch a snack or you can make one too. You don't have to physically go catch one. Uh, go do that. And we'll be back. Uh, oh, actually, while I'm gone too, I, I will be in chat if you do chat because I'm just heading outside for a minute. But uh, Toilet Duck, do you know what version of Eduke you'd recommend for this because right now the plan was i'm going to use the same one i used for high treasons map which is the older one uh because i took this screenshot that i made for the thumbnail with it um only because the last time i used my current version of eduke that i have installed or at least the most current one i have is when we had the rendering issues with your last map and i'm wondering if i use an older version if that would be better because I, I don't remember if you said you didn't upgrade your uh you do for a while when you're building stuff but i don't know if that changed for this one uh, but yeah give me 10 minutes you can also chat and i'll i'll be around too. come on
waiting for? Christmas? for Christmas. What are you waiting for, Christmas? for Christmas. What are you waiting for, Christmas? for Christmas. What are you waiting for? 
waiting for? Christmas? Christmas? for Christmas. What are you waiting for, Christmas? for Christmas? Not back yet. Not back yet. What are you waiting for, Christmas?
for Christmas. Christmas. What are you waiting for? Christmas? Christmas. What are you waiting for? Christmas? Christmas. Christmas. for Christmas. What are you waiting for, Christmas?
that's oh excuse me okay buddy come on two seconds here just to get things loaded Glad you pointed out the uh, drawer scissoring and all, because that's... I was wondering, yeah, so the version of Eduke I'm actually using is wrong from the description, so I'm going to update that. If this works out. Um, it seems like it has. doing that. Gotta do a quick uh, tweet. It's me, but it's, it's either, this is how I reproduce. I just spawn another Devon into the world. Or you spawned me. Who will you ever truly know? That's true. If too many of us gather together and just another one spawns. We're not looking. That way we never know which one it was. I'm trying to figure out which e I was going to use for this. Uh, I think I might stick with the one I used for... Uh, Hello, welcome. Buddy. Just posting little social tweets. Um, before we start the Let's Play section part. We just finished our little mapping section. Let's see if I can Welcome, everybody. Welcome, Nico. Welcome, Devin John. We're going to this one. We're going to, go to this one. Show robot face. I know that it can't be complicated. It's gotta be just like you throw a sector effector on there. I think like aren't you supposed to like start at the height you wanna be or something? I never bothered to make one. Um so 
Okay, okay, we're pretty much good. Unless you want to sprite with crack I'm open not this guy for you guys uh, and for myself as well. Right and then I'll switch screens yet. so that you're just not admiring my lovely uh, uh, ink.net artwork that I make. So I'm gonna I'm gonna open up my my handy uh, my punster. Well, maybe I should make it so it's not playing myself on the screen. That would also be probably helpful for you guys. Hopefully that wasn't happening this whole time. That would be horrible. Um, let's see here, we got a little, little read me open here. Um, it's so just as, as is tradition. I'm gonna crack open. Crack open the read me. Which comes with usually most maps, right? Just to give you a little history about, uh... The map we're about to play. Really. <laughs> So uh, it's, uh, we're playing a Super Mario 64 Shifting Sandland. So I mentioned in chat earlier, I have very limited experience with this. I, it's like the first few stages of Mario 64 because I didn't grow up with an N64. So I just played it passingly, uh, or passably, yes, but through friends when I was at their house. Um, and then when I, later in life, now I have it and I, I never finish it. I can never finish most games anymore. So this is by Toilet Duck 64 He's made made many maps. Uh, the link for this map is in the description if you do want to play it yourself. Um, for those not familiar, he, he's actually made a whole series of these maps. So we played a, a bunch of them. So there's Big Boo's Haunt. Uh, what was the last one we played? I had them all like in my head. Yeah, like just a minute ago. Big Boo's Haunt. And then... The snowman land, snowman's land. Is it called snowman's land? Or are they all called land? I guess the big boo salad's it's not. And last we, it, the last one we did was called wet dry world. Was that what? what was that what it was called? I'm the worst with names in general. Till I start repeating them like a thousand times. Um, but they're in my playlist. So they're a very fascinating little blend of uh, True Room Over Room and uh, Toilet Duck mentioned uh, Troar Scissoring. We were kind of like merging two dimensions in a way in the editor. I don't know how that works, but I've seen it. Um, I think the first map I ever saw it on or like we pointed out on stream was uh, one of the Roach maps where they used it to make some some railings, I think. Uh, several months, which is actually less than I thought it would take, to be honest. It's not just a lot of chore, see? And Duke tends to get stuck and hung up. So, uh, yeah, he's in uh, Big Boo's Haunt. There's an elevator that's like that. Uh, artistic liberties with the map. So, I when I did look at pictures of Super Mario 64, uh, it looked pretty accurate. Like, I haven't played this map. I just took this thumbnail at the beginning. And I turn monsters off. So I, I, I try to get as... Less spoilery as I can. Let's crack this guy.
sure we say if you can, always throw a like. Helps YouTube remember that Duke Nukem exists. I guess also me. Which is also nice. Uh, show level stats. We want that. Show crosshair. You want that. Did I turn anything else off? I think it turns. That's on the other one. Um, yeah, and because uh, Polymer runs way better me in uh, this version of Eduke, too. I don't know what it is. New Eduke kind of doesn't like Polymer as much. I guess it's not its like preferred development, though, so... Come get some. Switch this thing over here. It's like I just gotta wait for the my little thing to switch over. It's like, OBS is like, no, I don't want to capture that screen. Are you sure? Oh, yeah, this is the older version. Never mind. Sorry. Uh, I forgot. We have to tr uh, do this in a weird way. Um... Make sure the sound's not messed up. Sorry, I forgot. Because of this, the way this eduke works, I normally can't use. Uh... I can't use a um, window capture, so I have to use display capture. Which is, I guess, I'm I'm glad to know that because I remember I tried what recording for? Christmas gameplay for something at one point and I couldn't do it because I couldn't figure out how to capture it now I know it's this out of all the well he's done a bunch so eventually if he's if he keeps going on I'm assuming we're gonna get all of them um but, he, but groovy gonna run out of choices eventually gotta gotta choose it so I don't I don't have the negative history that uh I have been explained this map has so um yeah let's do toilet <laughs> i did like the use of polymer in uh wet dry world um especially with the glowing lighting i kind of wonder if i replayed that with this version of eduke because this one runs a lot better um for a polymer at least <coughs> for me personally i wonder if i would how that would feel like would it be drastically different uh anyways we're gonna start with this uh because this is a, a staple of toilet duck where we get the uh the lore the sim similarian similarian that the you know the appendices of the world. no get mission info Maybe I should take out some of these guys. I just don't want to trigger that overlord there. I don't see my stats, so I don't know if I'm dying. Uh, actually, you know what? Maybe. So far, the level has been all the most... Uh... Sorry, I have to move the little chat thing because there's a little emoticon in my way because YouTube doesn't know how to design stuff. The level has been all the most interesting. Just like good that's interesting to know. I did like the last one with the, the little city underneath. Oh crap, I tracked and triggered that guy. I triggered him. Uh, we do have lighting effects on, which is going to be a little different. And so far, it's not running like crap, so I guess. Uh, cool. 
cool. Is it safe to read this? Do you think he, he's ignoring me now? As you can see, the alien invasion has made this place... Uh, oh, let me turn my light on in case I need some water. I hear a shrink ray, so... My, oh, time. Okay, let me... Uh, Let me see what music we need. What would we feel, Snake? Okay, well, I guess that's it. We're doing Snake now. That's the music that the, the game has chosen for us. Uh, so I gotta, I'm going to take out these guys before I read the mission info. Otherwise, we're just going to... We're going to die. We're just gonna die. Ooh, these little lights. So is this scissoring going on right here? There is. Yeah, I'm getting a little got a little hung up right there. Interesting. Why would we do that? What, what's happening here? Oh, it's because you're up there. Interesting. But you can't see you here. Oh, there you are. Okay. Okay. Oh, I was hoping that would make me fly. Um, I do want to take out him. Rainbow rides somewhere over the rainbow. What's the name of the one of the stars? So, oh, okay, okay, interesting. A oh, blue key card. So is that how we get up here? Interesting. Okay. my water in my lap because I was preparing it just for that uh, lore we had to read but uh... I didn't want to trigger him though uh, okay well I guess we could try to clear out this section and then we'll go read because there is health here I made a choice. I made a choice. I made a choice. I made a choice indeed. Okay. Uh, let's rethink my strategy here. Did I grab any steroids on my grade? I needed that. Um, I'll save though. I think I'm doing pretty good. Like, this is pretty good for a toilet duck map for, like, living. I died in two seconds in this first map. Okay, got these. Those are always fun. That's pretty good with these too. I was gonna get a two for there. Made it. That should that should still kill him because it's poison. Like I, that's how I would like. Okay, so we're doing we're doing okay, actually. We're doing pretty good. I'm 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 feeling confident today. Okay, the uh, chair was always a secret. Um, but I'm gonna come back to that after I'm done. I'm done killing this thing. And grabbing some ammo. Um, and then we'll go read the uh, book. The Book of Mario, or Duke. There's a health kit there. I kind of want that med kit, but he's not triggered right now for some reason. Played this in Super Mario 64 trying to jump into the gnarly box things. Can you?
As you can see, the alien invasion has made this place a hell of a lot greener, but not in a good way. That's because the aliens have been using technology to alter our environment as they see fit. In addition to setting up wind turbines to neutralize and capture local cyclones, the aliens have been using various chemicals that have turned a lot of the sha sand uh, into toxic sludge. That it, uh, This actually makes it safer for you than the deadly quicksand and cyclones that used to be here. See, that's good. That's good. Uh, but that doesn't make their ter terraforming operations any less wrong. The alien activities have also caused the remaining sand dunes and hills to shift around. But we'll worry about that later. Your main objective here is your usual business of killing aliens and shit. Specifically, some of uh, some as yet unclear alien activity has been detected inside the ancient what are you waiting for? And you'll have to Christmas. go in and kick the aliens' asses to stop whatever they're doing. The ground level entrance to the pyramid is sealed such that it can't be opened from the outside, but we put explosives, at, that's always the solution, uh, explosives in place to blast open an alternative entrance into the top of the pyramid. Uh, you'll have to stand tall, are you gonna, so you're just gonna blow up that top drawer layer, what is that like a drawer layer? Christmas. I guess maybe you won't even have to do a drawer layer. I guess I don't know how it's built yet. Um, Ground level entrance uh, appearance and uh, explosive uh, stand tall. Uh, you'll have to stand tall on the four pillars to trigger all four activators to set them off. And when you do, I'm guessing those are the red spikes. Uh, you do, the detonator may take a few moments to respond. You can climb up the pillars to climb up a pillar, just walk, run into it. Yeah, it's Christmas. sloped. You can run up any slope. Uh, but specifically when descending, be careful not to fall and hurt yourself. Yeah. That sucks. Try crawling. That's my solution. Crawl and walk. Um, be sure to stand firmly on the top of the center of each pillar, hovering up, flying over it. Okay. The aliens left some equipment. Stand, shine. Uh, what are you waiting for? Uh, pyramids. Maybe she got shit. So far, maybe we've detected zero signs of them uh, actually using it, but this still seems suspicious. In any case, your extraction point is on the platform east of here. When we detect enough progress from you, we'll send you the blue key card. Coincidentally, just who the hell decided it was wrong to mix chemicals with the quicksand like the aliens did? I'm sure shit it wasn't me. Uh, I think even the toxic sludge is a big improvement over fucking instant death quicksand of doom. Furthermore, I don't give two fucks about what the aliens are doing inside the pyramid. If it was up to me, I'd let the aliens turn the whole damn place into a shit-filled assessment. <laughs> if, uh, uh, if I rock, the tox boss, etc. can never return, so be it. So I'm guessing nobody likes this map in Super Mario 64. What are you waiting for? Christmas? Man, is it really that bad? Um, what's time? Uh, let's be catch up here. It's level Super Mario 64 trying to jump in our own box things. You can, but you usually just warp them and take damage because of the most of the time playing Super Mario Surface, you spent messing around with the space Come and on. physics. They're similarly to Duke. Uh, I that's kind of one of the things I do find when you revisit games, it's like trying to not necessarily break them, but just playing around, messing around. It's fun. That's common in this uh, speedrunner. Speedrunners makes sense. It's a real Mario game. It still remains that it's bizarre. Oh. I am. I I understand and appreciate uh, Super Mario sixty four for like what it is, but I too always felt it was rough around the edges. Edges. But I was also I grew up uh, with PlayStation, so after a my uh I was, had a nintendo then i went to genesis then i went to playstation had a little loop was there more okay okay so we got we got stuff we got to do we got to go up some we got to go up these things we got to go up that thing we got to kill that dude check out the chair let's check out the chair So this opens. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Come get some. One of six mm. secrets. You played the DS Super Mario 64, right? 
I did play the DS uh, 64 yeah, a little bit. That, that was what I probably played more of so far. And even then, I think I got maybe. I don't think I've ever seen this level, though. That might have been it with this chair. We'll come back to it if we need it. But uh, is there anything up here? Anything up here? That's a that's an interesting way to looking at it though. If you think about it, is because it started off as a side scroller. Yeah, you could view it as like a. Uh, you could view it as like a, a spin-off. Who wants some? Mission log entry, page one of three. I suppose I might as well start off with. Oh, usually these are usually the bad guys, by the way. The mission logs. Um, start off with some good news. We've been able to capture basically all the nastiest air currents in the area to drive our turbine generators. So I suppose that part of our mission is a complete success. We may be able to use the extra energy output to assist with terraforming uh, procedures elsewhere, especially the areas the planet natives call Cool Cool Mountain, Lethal Lava Land, and Snowman's Land. One other thing we were able to do here was secure the area inside the pyramid just southeast of here. It's much deeper and bigger than it looks from the outside, and we were able to set up a temporary base of operations. I and the others with me have been ordered to secure the uh, perimeter while other troops went inside, uh, but I've heard that they encountered minimal resistance. I've also heard that they're trying to figure out the meaning of the sum inscripting uh, descriptions of something that they found inside the pyramid, but I don't think there's anything to figure out. By that, I mean that the natives probably wrote semi-random stuff on the walls. Come on. Oh, there's more. Oh, I, th I thought they were going to be on the screens I'd have to find. Regarding the previous types of sand in the area, I've spent sand samples to our lab in orbit for processing. You're in space? Are we going to get a slight Super Mario Galaxy spell? Uh, hopefully analyzing then will help us figure out which more specialized chemicals work better than the general purpose ones we've been using to try to neutralize Come more on. dangerous types of sand and might even explain why the area of what used to be quicksand uh, to the east has a maze-like mess of random square platforms instead of just nice straight bridges or something. Speaking of random stuff lying around, I don't think it was a good idea to leave that stuff up there on the pyramid, but hopefully Duke Nukem and or the locals will mistake it for some sort of trap. We detected uh, stuff being teleported in and scans Christmas. show explosives in the area, but not enough to actually threaten any of our best stuff. Maybe the locals will try to blow it up just in case or something. Uh, the pyramid is the only place where we detect explosives being teleported in. There's a pavilion-like structure to the southeast of the pyramid where some suspicious boxes have appeared. Maybe the locals will blow up that place as well. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, last but not least, regarding the situation Christmas. underground, the entrance from the inside and... In, uh, oh, have locked the ground level entrance from the inside and took the keycard down there uh, with them. As I, I wonder if that's why we're going to have to shrink to get in there. I write this uh, on the surface. I hear there's some sort of meeting going on at the temporary facility inside the pyramid where they're supposedly discussing the future plans. It's like Chernobyl. Uh, I was told to stay up here and Christmas. secure the perimeter. I'm not quite sure how that's supposed to work because they took all the units, best stuff, weapons, communication equipment into the pyramid with them. In fact, when Duke Nukem shows up, when, not if, they'll almost surely know about it before I do. Come to think of it, maybe I should ditch the assholes uh, while I still can if they want to hand my Duke Nukem on a pet. My ass and to Duke Nukem the Planner. They even invite me to their party meeting. Then, well, fuck them. If only I could open the pyramid entrance from the outside and accidentally let Duke Nukem in to ruin their shit. You should. Yeah. It's pretty good. I grew up with the NES Game Boy uh, and then GB NES. Yeah, if we count handhelds, I did have a, a Game Boy Pocket. What are you waiting for? Christmas? Fireflower and...
64 didn't follow the established mechanics of Mario's universe like that. And so it was like, we're not, yeah, you know what? Yes, that makes sense. Yeah. I'd accept that. I never really think of Mario lore as, as real, you know? Hmm. I don't really know if I want to turn. I might not have a choice. I don't know if I want to use up all my pipe bombs. Should grab that. Did I not grab that medkit? Should have, but I didn't. Thing there okay uh, I thought there was uh, some health that I was forgetting oh I could just grab that that'll solve all my problems actually Die, you son of a bitch um, and I'll save here because I can grab so much health over there so we're, we're fine we're fine I need In fact, my parents' house got robbed one day in 1996. My entire game and console collection as a kid got stolen. That sucks. My house got robbed once and they stole all our collector's coins. It was very upsetting. That was like the only thing of value we ever had. Collectible coins. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. I don't know if that counts. What would like the visual or sound acknowledgement if this is working? Come get some. <laughs> oh, thank you for this gift of armor. That was fun. A fun little one. See, I do like the idea of this green, glowy... No cue in the original game to tell you... Wait, so in the original game you're supposed to stand on top of the pillars as well? You're right, that does sound pretty obscure. I'm not a huge fan of uh, adventure game ob game obscure either. Like, I like I like there to be some kind of sense. There has to be a way I, I would know. Um... I like, guess this this is all that's here. Do I want to grab? Yeah, let's grab that health right here. Then we'll grab that atomic. Uh, I guess I might as well stand on these. Standing. in my mind if I saw something there. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Did I grab the thing on top? I just wanted to make sure. Like, I'm, I'm assuming it's the shrinker that I was supposed to... No, I didn't want to grab that, though. I wanted to grab that home. that I was supposed to check the very very top but I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what they were talking about
Okay, yeah, so it was just the shrinker, which I'm pretty sure we can get no matter what. So. Right? I'm just, I'm, I'm a little afraid that I'll, I'll fail here. can't see anything we're missing. So let's jump in the water. It's a little safer. Oh, God. It is a nice effect, right? I, explosions in Duke are so satisfying. Do you think there's anything to do over here? Like, I hear a shrink ray back there, and it could be underneath. I don't. I just don't know if any of this means something, or if this is just... It was in the original, so it's here. So. Like, that little fan. Do you think I could jump down there? Okay, let's... And this is locked, right? So this is locked. I guess I should check that first. Uh, what happens if I do this now? Nothing. No, no difference. Yeah, that really cool. Cool little destruction of this place. Oh boy. Oh, that's cool. Not really feeling this weapon for this though. still, right? Because I'm thinking take these guys out because they're hit scan. And that can be a little bothersome. I like that drop though. That was a real fun little drop seeing all those layers of enemies. So I have now. You know what? Let's do this. I'm not gonna get up here. Here. Quite a sector I rock. What does an I rock look like? I just want, I need I need to know that reference for my own. That's that is. Oh, I guess you see what I see. I don't know what that was when I'm trying to search Irock. But there we go. There you go, Irock. He's got little hands. What a nice little guy. Cool. Squished at the same time. Is the original mini boss a little? Well, I think he looks cool. He kind of gives me Zelda vibes. Like, I feel like, to be honest, I do like uh, Nintendo games. Like, I think they're fun, just casually. Which is why maybe I'm never as upset that I never beat a lot of them. Um, but a lot of the same stuff happens. I guess that's how you get that nostalgia, though. Just do the same thing all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Bongo, bongo. 
Was that Ocarina or is that what one was that? Where are my boots at? 86 now. Like, I'll save that. I don't want to pick up those boots now. To... Where did that battle lord go? I guess he's got to—he's got to be at a top layer here. Let's, let's do take these two guys. Oh, guess not. Damn it. Okay, so we can go over there. Go over there. Where is it? Set of puzzles. We're gonna get a puzzle here. We got a got a, got a thing going on. I saw that he has a big eye, so I'm assuming you have to beat him in the eye. Like, and I guess I didn't try to go through that gate. I think it's just blocked off. Go up here. Go up here. Jump across there. Looks like we can get across here. Yeah, this is a good sense of scale. It's good. <laughs> Has a decapitated head. I do like when they, uh, Nintendo does play with darker aspects, but it's, I think you could you could do that for kids media. If you want to view this like that? You can, you can do darker things. Sometimes limiting it Let makes God it even creepier. creepier. I, mean, I think they were hitting little sector walls here, so they're not taking the damage from the explosives like I want them to, so it's not worth it. This is cool. This is a cool looking computer. Just throw a lot of screens and it's cool. Again. Okay, that one worked out. That one worked out cool. And I do like the use of polymer in this, like for that, at least where I'm just seeing the lighting of the enemies. For a really big scale pyramid, I think it kind of works. I still see the potential for lighting like this as a like an optional choice. Yeah, this layering here with like use of sprites and the controls is really nice. Really nice. We'll make a spin off map where he does return. I don't I don't know if I want to go up more until I kind of check out these layers that I've found because we already got that we really haven't checked out the here we got here Okay, give me a pistol, that's interesting. Interesting choice indeed. So we came out of here. I haven't tried to go in any of the water, like dive into any of it, so that might be the one mistake I'm making right now. So there's red. There's an RPG there. I want to go back and get that. Uh vent there that I could jump into. Uh, let's get RPG. Groovy. I think there might be another secret. Mm. 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 Maybe 
not. There's no real hint that there is one. Okay, so let's just continue on. Didn't try any of that, that. Every once in a while, when I'm uh, like turning my camera, I'll get like little glimmers of uh, white lines, like little little speckles of white, like where it's connecting the seams. down so in case they're important uh, shift come on This one, this one's black, what are you waiting and for? this Christmas. one's black, and I'm pretty sure the other one it was just like 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, it's just the opposite. Myself, sorry. No, I did that right. Okay, I did it right. Okay. Uh, is there any on these ones? I guess I should check that. I guess I. Yeah, there is. Oh, is there? Oh, there's little symbols too. That might be important. All right, let's get the little symbols down. One, two, three. Six, one, two, three, six, and this guy'll do its was looks like a little battery Keen language. Oh, are these the symbols the person was mentioning? Like, it's probably nothing. Probably random scribbles. I'm just trying to point out the puzzle here. Oh, and this one doesn't have anything. Okay, so there's there's three. Okay. Well, maybe there's more. This is not enough. Okay. into the vent I'm feeling here. I know we could climb up, but vent it seems it seems to do this now. Let's do this now. Let's do it. Come get some. Okay. It was a secret. Sure. 
sure if there was uh, something there. So we check that one out. Could be something somewhere else that we're not seeing. I'm not going to grab the card because sometimes the cards get... Oh, ooh, I see. Um, the cards trigger stuff, you know? So we're going to do safe thing and explore first. And then pick up the card and maybe die. when those are going to come into play. Um, there's stuff over here. Oh, jeez. Oh, that was my own fault. Oh, there's another one. Oh, jeez. Prepared for another one. Take a picture of that. Uh, we got here. Where was the yellow key? I don't actually remember seeing it. It's hard to find secrets like I'm used to uh, by cheesing with the uh, auto map. I thought that was a red key card, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's uh maybe it's something else. So maybe we'll go get that. Oh wait, no, there's a key card over here, so maybe that's what it was. It's just this one. Oh, never mind. Oh, oh that was a mistake. here instead, in case there's more. Oh, no. 
what to do here. These guys are just... Well, I guess I could just do this. Stopping by nonetheless. And as always, everybody, if you're always still like, if you're not subscribed, always do subscribe too. I do appreciate everybody stopping by regardless. And if you haven't downloaded the map, go download the map. Always fun. Oh, we just. We're just gonna let them fork themselves out right now, I think. Hey, look at that! Oh, wow, there's way more than I got. I have one, two. I have five. Oh boy. <laughs> Two, three. I like this lighting, you know. It's cool. Three. What are you waiting for? Christmas? So I gotta find some other dudes. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Let's find some other dudes here. Is there any on here? each side. Okay. Maybe there was one on the toxic side and I just didn't look. Got that one. Got that one. On here. I am on. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm missing two. I have two I'm missing. I 
Uh, I haven't been missing them for very long, mind you. Like, I, I, I still feel like uh, my progress is pretty good. Like, I'm not feeling stuck so far. I just, uh... Could they all be in this room? Because I got that one. I got that one that was over there. I haven't checked these columns. Not this one. Nothing on this guy. Unless there's something on here. Just checking to see if that was a thing. Got that. Like, I could guess the other two. But I don't want to. <clears throat> Nothing over here. Unless there's some in here, but I don't I don't know if we'd put them in there. I don't think I see any. Maybe they are in here. Where would you be? Maybe I have to enter some and then I can get to more. The yellow car door. So is that the yellow car door that I keep passing that's in the machine? I just didn't... I, I, and I keep thinking it's red. Let me go down here. Take a swig of water too. For some reason was locked into that being a second red door for some reason. I think the building's so red, so I didn't process it properly. Let's do that. Let's save right here because I don't wanna I didn't want to do that. Oh, this is where you fight the Iraq? Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, this, this looks like it would be a boss room for sure. Hail to the king, baby. Man, that does sound like an interesting Go little boss. Some. Mission log, entry piece, page one of one. Uh, we're currently transporting explosives into a position to try to blast open the entrance that locked behind us. I suspect we have managed uh, to trap ourselves here, but no way in hell I'm 
I reporting that. Even if we starve or suffocate or whatever, there's nothing that could possibly approach the severity of the punishment we'd receive from all our superiors. Hell, even if Duke Duke shows up and blasts us off the ship, that'll at least free us from the full burden. Uh, such a uh, fucking embarrassing outcome. Although, maybe just maybe. We might be able to trap Duke Duke inside this area. And same way we got trapped ourselves. If we were to show up here, uh, that alone would make everything worth it. Well, I don't know your plan though. It's not gonna really. I don't think it's gonna work as well. Here's our last one. It is a cool looking room though. Yeah. That's why I like. It's hard. Sometimes I wonder if it comes across because you know how some people can get jaded by the way graphics look. And it's like okay, well if you're trying to mimic an, an N64 looking game, will that make people judge it even different? But it's like, to me, it looks really cool, and especially when you consider how everything's built. Like all these layering, sense of scale. I like this color. Like I could, you could spend hours building some really complicated sprite things. Like, or you could just do stuff with a very, very intentional vision that works. And, and this use of chore is really, really, like, the sense, that depth you get from all, all the, seeing all the levels when you're traveling through the pyramid, or even this. Um, I'm definitely going to go into the water, and I'm definitely not forgetting secrets. I have, I will say, um, so far, at least, I... I don't feel the secrets as, aren't as hidden. Yes, that's what I mean. Um, like one of the first ones you played, there's no way I could tell where some of them, they were exactly lining up perfectly. Uh, with the textures and everything. This one's like, I feel like I had a little a little nod. I appreciate both guns, I guess. But if you're saying there is a secret here. Is it that little square? I'm supposed to notice that little square? Oh, I didn't even notice it was a hand. To me, it looks like a little square. You're right. Yeah, you can kind of see it when you're kind of moving around. Okay, so we got the blue key card. Let's go up. Oh, did I? I forgot to write down what the actual puzzle was. For, um... This. down there. What am I doing? I'm going the wrong way. This is where I want to go. These are the dangerous slopes. Everything's so slopey that it's it's just a death trap going up and down. Mainly down. Uh, okay, let's whip out the slope. Okay, what do we got going on? Um, this guy is this. This one is this. Little G. <laughs> Little G. And that guy. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, 
Got a little square dude. With all the ramps. I knew there was gonna be something there. Yeah, let's go let's go get that. So in my mind, I I was thinking this would be it, but you're so I was kinda of thinking maybe this would be tied to the secret. So let's try it. Where is it? Where is it? My wall hump technique first. Before we get into visual differences, I could put it up there. I wonder if you would do that. Would you do that? Ah, you would. Yes. Sometimes the delay in chat is is good because I figured it out on my own just as you pointed it out. So feel like I won. Yeah, th those ones weren't so bad. I wonder if I would have checked that naturally over time. Like the moment you pointed out something in the room, then I'm going to start looking. And I thought there was going to be something in there, but I didn't look that deeply yet. I wonder if I would have. that one and then we want this is two two and then this guy right here is a three or uh, this, this. and then this guy is this one which is this, 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 this. and then this is the battery which is this this no. get it when it's not equipped. There we go. Okay, so let's save here. Did you get all the secrets? Or I should say all the noted secrets. Who knows? If there's a different secret. Okay, open that up. Why? Don't know. Just want to. Pop up. Just in case, you know. Tor scissoring, or that tor scissoring saved my life there. Well, probably not. I probably would have. Guess we gotta deal with that guy. Not one over here. Nailed it. Nailed it. Look at that. I'm the king of the castle. Let's take a screenshot of that. Boom. Solid little map. I was expecting my ass to get handed to me a lot more, to be honest. Not that I think you should have made it harder by any means. Um, just 
just want to point out that uh, normally I feel like I die. Just take a little peek at it. Let's let's take a little peek see here at the uh, the map. Well, I guess you can you can just you know do that. Watch my stuff here. Gotta gotta remember to swap things out every once in a while. Do 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 do. That's not what I want. I want Mapster. Says I want to crack open. This. Just so we can we can kind of see how the sauce is made a little bit, you know. Uh, so let me turn my stuff on here. I think this would be a fun one actually to look in three in two uh, D view. So let's zoom out and then. No, nope. stop, 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 built up where am I so off course now what are these little guys oh is this the um I was I was hearing uh shrink race and I was wondering what it was is this like a little logic thing yeah this is just a little logic thing but what was this for oh is this the pillars so each time we're standing on the pillars one of these must drop so the idea is when we hit, hit all four, it would hit the target and trigger the explosion. And then here's your, these are your text screens. So these are all your little text screens that you'd have for your security cameras, right? To display that stuff. Got some AR, got some little, little, little Colta. Yeah, because so you got your little timer here. What is this? Your, this is your what space? What do they call this? Master switch, GSP speed. So that would have been in here. See, this is the part where it's like I, I visually constructing this like I, I again, if I don't understand, I, I don't know, or I should say if I didn't know, uh, you could deselect layers. I This looks like this is chaotic to build through. Look, this looks like pure chaos to untangle all of these wide layers. Um, I jump between pages. I thought. But it is impressive. 
is very very impressive when I when you see it all in one one giant slot like this. Um. So yeah, that was that was actually pretty fast. What was that? Oh, a little bit streaming. Three and a half hours. It's pretty pretty short. Pretty short little stream there. Um. Do I want to do a quick one? We want to go back to a to an old map. Because we did that before, and that was pretty fun going through an old, old map instead of a current one because they're usually shorter so we can maybe fit one another one in just flip uh over to this Just switch screens here for you guys. Good. Like, we, nuts is like if we just want to kill a bunch of enemies. I don't know how amazing that would be to to witness, but. Uh, Penthouse Paradise. I did get that once. I think it comes with the zero hour thing. And I was like, oh, an official thing I never really played. It's, it's I, I don't think I beat it. I think it was, it was okay. I think I broke mine too. we think here an island based level I wonder if there's one that says if I just take all. Well, here's a mall. Okay, I'll crack that open, maybe. That I'm hoping to release on April 1st. That would be perfectly timed if you did that. Okay, we're going to do this because we are... Wait. Because I'm like, it looks old. What year is this? We're going to find it. I'm going to find you. Mall. Who is this by?
what year did you come out? Dang. I could download the, the they have these map packs on MSDN, so you can download by map here. So I could do that, but I had that. No included, no, not MSDN. You can't check the README in advance. It's not like, uh, does it sense? And and I don't think sent has that right because. Could check the Duke repository. Maybe they have it too. Duke repository. I find that one doesn't. Map listings, maybe. If I do mall. Oh, there's one called Duke Mall, though. Maybe we'll check that out. Zombie Mall. Duke Mall. All right, Duke Mall. We're going to do Duke Mall. And then at least I can find the other one for, for next time. Because that one looks so old. It looked old. And I was kind of... Like, just to see what people used to come up with back in the day. Ooh, a classic shrunken map. I remember the one in Duke's I think it was Duke's Zone where you go into the in, uh, the pool thing. People. Like I definitely, that's why I'm thinking it's got to be like something on Duke Zone because I'm when I'm thinking about the products I owned and it was Duke Zone, and Duke Nuke of Atomic. Uh, I don't think I ever owned anything else. There is multiple maps in here. I didn't even read the review. Uh, we're gonna use the old version that we're using year because this is from 2007 so just to play it cautious we're gonna do that um let's crack open the readme for this guy i know next to nothing about this Oh yeah, probably. I almost bought a copy of Duke Zone. I think I could buy it to get a copy online, I think. I'm pretty sure I just have it. Wait, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it just comes with all this stuff. I definitely have it. Like a thousand times. Because uh, I'm pretty sure the uh, Zoom one has it. It's now on the add-on pack, I think. Definitely going to be able to find it. This guy need a little more time. This map is not designed for high res pack. Okay, that's okay. That for best routes, turn word wrap on and maximize. Them. Oh, I didn't even know that was a feature in WordPad Notepad. I thought the purpose of Notepad was it was weird. Um, for best results, uh, my the virtual enemies from a local arcade game, Earth Defense Force, seems to have found their way out of the game and into the real world. They have taken control of the mall and it's your job to take it back. Due to their video game based existence, the enemies are anticipating the arrival. Uh, uh, we were gonna do a short one, but uh, we found this one just because it, it did a quick one. So I... 
mall based. I'm going to do a mall based one. Uh, you aren't going to employ any pansy stealth tactics to find your way to barricade. Oh no, you're going to use your car. Once you find your way inside the mall, there are your objectives travel inside the sword. This, this may be way more bigger than I thought. Be able to get inside. Uh, we'll have to drain the coolant tank. Uh, no, but DM close, DM open or available for multiplayer. Oh, okay, so uh, this would be the single player part of the title. The previous version of Duke Mall. Okay, so these are the DM uh, Duke Mall versions. That's cool. There's a little, little things here. Uh, the mall roof was really built at the proper height difference, but had to... Interesting. Okay, what do we got going on here? I guess from 2007, it might not be as small as I'm thinking, but we'll, we'll, we'll roll with the punches here. Well, I gotta remember I'm using the uh, old version. didn't say what renderer to use. Oh, it didn't, it didn't like that renderer. Oh, no. Oh, no. Do this before I end it this way. Let's control minimize. I forgot that this one has a weird issue with uh, switching renderers for me. That was the issue I used to have. How do I transition themes? So that I can try to fix this. Or I guess that maybe just ended the stream early, because the only other way I might be able to fix is to end the stream, which is unfortunate. Uh, Hmm. Hmm. I fixed this before. How did I do this? Well, I know how I def definitely fixed it, but I had to minimize it. There's a minimize switch. What's the minimize shortcut? And that tricked it. Minimize shortcut. Windows key and M. Okay. I 
I can't click anything. That's the problem. Um, hmm. Maybe we'll have to save them all for next time. That's so unfortunate. Um, so I guess that's going to end the stream here. Because the only problem is the only way I can stop this to actually shut down Eduk is I actually have to restart my computer. Uh, so that's going to kill the stream anyways. And that's not fun. It's unfortunate because that did look like a fun map. Granted, I have it downloaded now, so I can always save it. Um, for next time too um what will i what was i going to say so for next week i already do know what i'm going to play uh let me just put something up here you can't see it because i uh, my computer's frozen but at least i can talk to you and tell you what it is um We're doing Nuclear Plant by uh, Star Nukem, because he just came out. Uh, it says it's Episode 1, Mission 2. Oh, I guess that's just because it's a recreation of Doom's map, uh, the Doom map, but it's like a Duke variation. So that's what we're doing for the featured map next week, is Star Nukem's uh, reimagining of Nuclear Plant from doom which is episode one mission two from doom uh it came out i think when they come out like at the end of february so we're gonna have that as the featured map for next week and then we can probably do some more malls which is actually a good one if yeah if anybody does have any more mall maps recommend those because that'll be good for the project that we're kind of working on to see how other people have some ideas i, I think the, the closest i could really think of is uh, the dream map so in the dream map you definitely go into a mall there and there's a, there's a few good stores we've seen in different maps but yeah definitely not a mall i don't think really too much other than this one we were going to play that we can't so uh I'm sorry to cut it short, everybody, due to technical difficulties, but I will see you all next week. And uh, I hope you guys had a lovely time. Definitely download Toilet Duck's map. And if you haven't played the other ones too, uh, I, I do recommend those as well, especially to see how everything transitioned because they're pretty good. Like I, 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 just such a cool use of chore, especially when you start to see it at that side view. Um, such a shame we didn't get to play another map. But as a positive, I'll be able to get caught up on some stuff I'm behind because I didn't add chapters to the last stream. I was so busy this week. Uh, so I can do that. And I can do chapters for this one. And then maybe get the thumbnail done for next week too. Get that all out of the way. So then I can actually design some stuff for next week's stream for uh, the mapping portion. Because um, I have some loose ideas. It's just connecting them together is where, where it gets a little bit tough. And I haven't figured that part out. Um, so I hope you guys have a, a good and lovely day. I do apologize for cutting it a little bit short due to this, but I hope you all understand. And I'll catch you all next week for some more mapping and uh, for Star Nukem's Doom creation, which is uh, looking pretty cool, actually. Anything that has tubes in it. I saw some pictures that has some tubes with some aliens in it. Instant 10 out of 10. Some tubes and some aliens. Oh, I realized it came properly end the stream. I can't even do it. I can't even end it properly. Uh, hopefully this works. And if not... Godspeed. Wait, can I do that? No. 
Okay, I'm going to just restart and hopefully that works.